what's up guys it's me again Paula Nanya on your screen yes I have been off I actually missed our actually missed our Thursday talk and that was because I was unwell and I had a lot of events on my hands and I could not just um, do the video I was too weak even right now as I'm talking to you guys I'm not hundred percent but because I know that I have to deliver I had to just drag my ass up and just come and turn on the camera and film this okay so we're going to go back to our talk we are on episode 4 actually and please guys before I go too far don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like comment and share my videos help me guys give me that thumbs up because I need it to grow okay and of course you guys know that we're here to you know pass on knowledge so we're going to start with our first question guys my wife does not fight for our marriage as a woman she is so careless with our marriage anything any little thing she would pack her load and threaten to leave a woman should fight for what she has i don't know what to do again she does not pray does not do anything that normal women do even when she saw me with another woman she just passed me like a stranger never asked me who she was she was so careless about me she does not love me enough how do I punish her? <laughs> wow. What a way to be so concerned about your marriage. I thought you were concerned about your marriage, but it seems like you're more concerned about what you should do to punish your wife. Like, does that even make any sense? Why would you be looking for something to punish your wife? Okay, first of all, let us just address it. Your wife doesn't care about the marriage. She doesn't do this. She doesn't do that. Um... But you forgot to tell us how you feel about the marriage itself. How do you feel? How do you genuinely feel about this marriage? Are you open to it? Are you okay with her? Do you find, like, the, the first, the reason why you married her, is it still how you feel? Or it has changed? Because if it's that it has changed and she has changed, then there will be, like, genuine reasons to be concerned. I mean... I don't even know where to start from because there are a lot of things that we should look at. You're the man in the house or the man in the family. Don't you think that there are some necessary things you're supposed to do to put right um, something that is going wrong in your marriage? Why do men always feel that it's only the woman's duty to keep the marriage or sustain the marriage or make sure that this marriage goes on smoothly? Why do you feel that? That's number one. And then number two what your wife is lacking in why can't you try and fill up the gap she doesn't pray call her let's pray together baby what's up right and then she saw you with a woman and she didn't care first of all what exactly is the relationship with you both in the house okay what's the relationship like because i mean i think we lose a lot of um, side view on this whole stuff and then we just try to condition everything to the fact that oh, okay um, the woman is supposed to do this she's supposed to keep the home she's supposed to sustain the home she's supposed to be very prayerful and all of that but I mean what has happened with you guys generally because if, if we don't know that information then how do you want us to even help you please Correct the notion that you need to punish her or you need to make her understand That you're the man and she should fight for you if you want her to fight for you Give her something to fight for that's not a punishment That is you letting her know that you're still worthy to be her husband and for the woman I mean if you're not okay in that marriage, why don't you come out straight and tell him let him know what your concerns are Let him know what the issues are don't come and start acting all, I don't give a fuck, I don't care, behavior up and down. Like, it's not even healthy. 
if you find something offensive that the man is doing you should always come out straight and say it because it's going to help the both of you to move forward it's either going to make you or it's going to break you that's the bitter truth and that's what this show is about okay let us come to a resolution let us come to an understanding that we have to come together to work because it takes two to tango you cannot be seeing one person doing acrobatics and tangling up and down it has to be two people coming together to do that right so what's up why are you both not coming together to do it why are you just waiting for one person to spill the beans or to say okay i'm not doing it again i'm not interested anymore i'm done with this marriage okay that's what you guys are waiting for no 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 it doesn't work that way you have to come and say what your problem is because it could be something you could work on and then on the other hand it can also be it can also be something you cannot work on so it's always very important that you come together and sort out the issues i feel that's all i have to say so there's no need for punishment there's no need to show pepper there is no need to deal with anybody it's marriage as beautiful as it is it is chaotic as as interesting as it is it is problematic as as desiring as it is it's fucking it is very difficult okay it is very difficult because you have to live with another human being because you have to take another human being's behavior you have to take his flaws you have to take her flaws you have to understand them you have to i don't know every minute and every day you have to start processing okay why did he wake up this morning and he didn't talk to me do you understand you have to understand your partner and if you don't understand your partner then that's where you get it wrong so maybe the woman needs something from you and you're not giving it to her and she feels okay fine no problem let's just be living our lives the way we want to which is very wrong because you're supposed to come together to talk over things that is what marriage is about the communication the key that is the key communication is the key in every marriage in every friendship in every relationship everything that has to do with two people communication is key I hope I was able to cover that. Okay, now let's get to the second part. Let me know what you guys think about that particular one. So now let's get to the second one. This one is, I checked my husband's phone and saw different types of chat with different women. No sex chat, but just annoying chats that is not supposed to be with other women. We spoke about it and he asked he started locking his and he started locking his phones i allowed him but i kept searching until i broke the code and saw he was cheating on me i confronted him he left the house for two weeks i had to call his mom to go beg him and now he is giving me conditions that before he comes back to the house, I must promise and sign an undertaking never to touch his phone in my life again. I won't lie, I did sign. Then he came back home and even ever since then, I feel so miserable. I feel foolish. I don't feel like a wife. I still feel tempted to touch his phone but i don't even know what i am looking for how do i stop myself from touching his phone how do i get my mind busy and leave him alone talk to me okay very interesting one because i believe that every one of us is dealing with this whole you know this whole of touching my partner's phone touching my partner's phone blah 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 right i have also gone through a partner's phone yeah i have and even someone that is not even a partner someone that i had one kind of um, connection with and i felt like oh there was something that was he was hiding and i decided to go through his phone so number one the thing that i want to say is that it's very unhealthy to go through someone's phone okay because you know that you don't want to see something right and you go there searching for it and that is the beginning of the problem when you go searching for it you're definitely going to find it like 99.9% you're going to find that thing you're looking for That's the honest truth Okay, and and then okay. I'll say that where she made a mistake was signing Yeah, that's it. 
That's where she made the mistake. Signing. She should have signed the, the, the paper. Like, I don't get it. Like, marriage has conditions now. How? When? Who? 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 Excuse me. But who who made who made such rules? Who made such who made such such um, laws that it has to have conditions? I mean, she shouldn't have signed it. I feel like okay, fine. If she wants to stay married with him, she should distract herself. Like maybe make new friends, go out more often, keep herself busy. If she doesn't have work, she should get a job or start a business. I feel like that's where she can just keep her mind busy, honestly, because there's no other thing for her to do. I can't tell her to break up or leave a marriage. I mean, she wanted this. That's why she signed the paper. But I personally feel like she shouldn't have signed it because um, you definitely know that this thing is happening. And all he's doing is to tell you that, see, I'm going to find a way to stop you from going through my phone because I'm going to keep doing this thing that you don't all like. So he knows that you don't like it, but he's going to keep doing it because he doesn't care about that because he feels that he's of all up, upper hand and he can do whatever he wants to do. So honestly, you shouldn't have signed the paper, number one. And number two, leave him alone to do his shit. But just get yourself busy. Do something for yourself. Open a business or get a job. That's the only thing you can do to keep your head straight. Go out with your friends. Find friends. Make friends. If you have friends, go out with them. Keep yourself busy. Keep yourself entertained with things. Create a life for yourself. Do anything. Be active somewhere else. Somewhere that you can take your mind off it. And then, I don't know, if you have like... Maybe change your wardrobe, change your wardrobe, change your way of dressing, your way of, um, you know, interacting with him, make it more, let him know that he married you for a reason. That reason why he married you, remind him of it. If that spark doesn't come back, then this is my advice. Leave the marriage. If the spark doesn't come back, if he doesn't see you or value you or take you as his wife anymore, and it's just a contracted marriage, please take a leave. That's all I have to say. Don't forget, here is to make or break it. So there is no two way about it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. She's a grown woman. She can take it whichever way I present it to her, right? So now number three. I said, I don't know how to start, but to cut everything short, I'm 22. A uh, hundred level girl in university and I'm dating a married man. Mm. My mom, who used to pay my fees, got cancer and had one kidney removed. When I was only in 100 level. So when I, when I met this man in my 200 level, with all the help he was giving me, I couldn't let him go when he requested for sex. From his actions and all, he really loves me. And he made me a part of his life now. I don't know what to do be now because he provides my needs, communicates, respects, and adore me. He even named his first child after me. Things are getting deeper as the, at, at the moment. He's currently working on moving with me to the States next year after my degree so we can stay together. While I do my master's degree, which he will fund, I don't want to break anyone's home. Why if, which won't favor me since I'm still in school, I'm really confused. Please help your younger sister, please. <laughs> okay, so this is hard because I mean, I know a lot of people will come with the whole, you know, ah, in the help you now. He gives you money now. So stay with him. It's your luck. But I mean, he named his first child after you. Which means that while you guys were together, he actually likes, he was, he's still active. He's still active with his wife. So what exactly is this to you, young lady? See, the man is not yours, right? Is either okay, there are two things you can actually do. First one is 
let him explain to you what exactly is going on ask him what he wants to do with you because i mean he has a child with someone else that woman will always forever be in his life okay that woman will forever be in his life but what does he want with you ask him that question ask him and hear what he has to say right that's number one and number two after he has answered you know your mind is judging you you know that you're uncomfortable with the situation which you are in you know that yes you you don't have things or whatever okay so the money he has been giving you have you just been using it to spoil yourself silly have you not been investing don't you think you can open a business with whatever money you have with you something that can sustain you through school i mean i know then when i was in uni i saw a lot of young girls who had businesses there are some who had um clothes clothing um business shoe business makeup business i saw a lot of them like potentially had work and somehow at the top of my head i feel like they were using that stuff to sustain themselves in school but i wasn't too sure about it but i mean i feel that was what was um going on then so you can actually do that you can open a business and leave that man alone let him be on his own if he wants to help you okay fine let him help you without the other attachments to it so you don't keep feeling guilty that you're doing something because i mean karma is a bitch and you don't know what is going to happen in your life in the next i don't know how many years when you're ready to settle down okay do you feel that this man is going to settle down with you i have no idea what to tell you but just speak with him let him know that you're not comfortable with the situation get yourself a business please open something and leave the married man alone it's very important that's my own advice to you okay what do you guys think what's your opinion what's your advice to this young lady i mean what should she do she's 22 years old she has a lot ahead of her should she just you know be stopped with someone's husband and be tagged as a home wrecker home breaker husband snatcher everything the society will basically say about her and yeah i know traveling abroad is very i know even myself i'm even tempted to tell her say travel abroad um establish yourself abroad and leave him alone abby i'm tempted to say that but i can't say that because i mean i feel like it has a lot of um a lot of side effects to it and it won't be healthy honestly so now let's go to the last question okay it said i'm having a lot of things confusing me that i'm seeking advice i'm a 24 year old guy who is dating a 21 year old girl i'm a type that is too focused on career and believe having more than one girl would distract me but my real issue is this i always find myself quarreling with her because she feel like i'm limiting her from her friends and going out or going out with friends social life like literally she is a type that has that has a lot of girlfriends and this doesn't suit well with me because i feel like for us to grow we should focus less on social life and work more on career and brands please i need your advice should i get rid of the relationship and move on focusing on my or should i give her time maybe in her age is affect maybe maybe it's her age that is affecting her tell me how i can go about it is no fun being lonely but our career comes first okay wonderful i like the fact that you're a career oriented person but honestly you cannot be solely dependent on a person so you need other people to you know build your life not necessarily like help you build but you need other people to keep you sane right you can never be with just i mean she is a different person from you try and understand that try and accept it first of all if you've accepted it then we'll move forward she's 21 and you're 24 um she's practically still a teen in fact if i must say because she just left the teen how many years back two years back so you don't expect her to just be thinking the way you're thinking allow her to enjoy her life let her be free yes you can put her through the whole try and get a career try and get a brand try and get a name yes it's not a bad thing but let her make her friends 
but you can only advise her but not stop her and then secondly if you feel that she's distracting you from your life let her go honestly i don't know what else to say because your way matured your head is somewhere else her head is in meeting with her friends socializing and that's what she wants to do at the moment and there's nothing you can do to like remove that from her head because that's what she wants to do so it's better you um you let her be so that she can go at her own pace so she doesn't feel trapped or or start to give you um issues or whatever and young lady if you find a man who is so concerned about your career and he wants you to take it serious try and see how you can balance the both sides okay my friends my career know how to balance the both sides because one cannot suffer for the other one to thrive so you cannot even have a career without having a fun life you need someone or something that is going to distract you from that crazy life and my guy you can never be enough for her because she needs her friends her friends are her support system and and she needs them it's very important and we would we would like to see that you're a little bit controlling apart from the fact that you're a career person but it seems like you're a little bit controlling if you want her to drop her entire um life to just be focused on career it doesn't work that way she's 21 years old i know that every 21 year old a lot of 21 year olds have achieved a lot of things for themselves i think where was i at 21 i don't even know but i mean a lot of people are different like it's not every 21 year old that the same they don't think the same way i think at 21 i'm already thinking about you know my career actually i was thinking about my career I was thinking about you know getting my masters do you doing my phd you know even marriage honestly i was already thinking about that by that time but it's not every one of us that is the same you get to allow her to choose the one she wants and if you feel it doesn't suit your life let her go all right guys so this is the end of the of the talk and i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys had fun throughout and i mean it was very interesting making this video and the stories get even more interesting as it goes so please guys let me know your opinion about all the topics that i touched and let me know what you guys think what would you do differently what would you do in every situation that i read out what would you do what would be like your killing point every situation that i said okay and please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share my videos let everybody know that you love my videos okay all right guys see you next time bye